many cases, people can pinpoint certain times of their life. For example, some people remember that once they saw the movie Jaws, they never got back into the ocean again. I can easily define the moment that I fell in love with Japan. It was when I saw one statue. It's a prominent statue residing in the very center of Tokyo, Japan. And being located adjacent to the Imperial Palace itself lends it a great deal of credibility. It's the statue of the great 14th century samurai named Kusunoke Masashige. Speaking from my own efforts, it wasn't easy to find a lot of information about this statue. I found tidbits of useful reference material that I located on the internet but the same information seems to be repeated on most websites. So I spent several weekends devoting them to research at the local libraries. Driving all over Houston, Texas, I found one library that carried a small amount of detail about Masashige, which led me to another library that contained a few clues about another book, and then another book about another piece of his life. After a while, I merely put the pieces together. Here's what I was able to learn. Masashige had a phenomenal devotion to his leader, who was, at the time, the Emperor Godaigo. Well, one samurai leader named Ashikaga Takauji betrayed the Emperor, and soon Emperor Godaigo demanded retribution against Takauji and ordered Masashige to avenge the Emperor's honor. In 1336, Masashige had no chance of winning this battle yet carried out the Emperor's orders to the smallest detail. Eventually surrounded and outnumbered, and no chance of success, Masashige took his own life. Today, this statue is a permanent fixture, and Masashige is considered the very definition of loyalty. But there's one point I would still like to make. There's a plaque affixed to the right side of this statue that's intriguing. You see, the plaque is not written in traditional Japanese. It's written in an early form of Chinese writing, not Japanese. Now, literally, after months of research, I found that the plaque tells us that the statue was made of copper by the Sumotomo Mining Corporation just before the 20th century in a small southern prefecture of Japan by mostly Chinese craftsmen using the current statuary casting technology of the time. Ironically, the plaque is written in their language. Whenever I find myself walking the streets of Tokyo, I always take a moment to pay this statue a visit. It's a piece of Japan that remains an everlasting reminder to me of why I enjoy this nation so much. For more information about Kusunoke Masashige and this statue, please visit the links to the right of this video. For JapanOnVideo.com, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching.